several of these gentlemen have been on stage before, but we're going to start with our novice lightweight. This next young man is absolutely become the heart and soul of this show with national attention on CNN and other news programs. Glenn has been his trainer, his inspiration. He looks up to him so much, so this is a special night for both of them. Being an educator and having special needs young guys for the last 20 years, I know exactly how hard he's had to work to be out here. And what a phenomenal inspiration he can be and is to all of us. Would you please give a huge Kentucky muscle? Welcome to Poland! Melting together, and you forget about things. 
but it's things like what we have tonight here on this stage that'll stick with you forever. So when people ask me from here on out what the coolest part of my job is, it's not going to be me answering when I get to go to the Olympia or the Arnold. It's going to be me saying, I got to see such an incredible young man performing on this stage. And as competitors and, and as fans, it, it, this is a tough sport and we look for inspiration in just about anywhere we can find it, whether it be other bodybuilders or professional athletes or even quotes from a movie. But I think you're going to be hard pressed to find a story more inspirational than Collins. Um, not only does he serve as an inspiration to us as competitors, but his story proves to those with obstacles or adversities that if you have a dream and you're willing to work for it, that you can achieve it. So, I, I spent about the last 10 years working with the Special Olympics in my home state of Wisconsin, so when I saw Colin's story last Tuesday on Facebook, it, it hit pretty close to home. I contacted his trainer, Glenn, and I asked Glenn what show he would be doing. And uh, then next I contacted Colin on Facebook. And uh, it was real basic, some words of encouragement, um, telling him how much I was inspired by his story, um, and saying that I would do my absolute best to make sure that Muscular Development was there to cover his story and share it, not only with the bodybuilding world, but the entire globe. And before Colin and I finished up our conversation, I asked Colin, I said, you know, who are your favorite bodybuilders? And he told me, John Cena and Jay Cutler. So two pretty good choices. Now, I'm a huge John Cena fan. I love WWE, but unfortunately, I do not have any sort of personal relationship with John Cena. But I do know Jay Cutler pretty well. And so the very next day, last week Wednesday, I got a hold of Jay. And I told Jay Collins' story, and, and anybody who's had a chance to meet Jay Cutler knows that Jay exemplifies what it means to be a champion both on and off the stage. So when I asked Jay, I said, you know, can you, can you send me something for this kid, maybe a shirt, a hat, or some gear? And Jay said, I'll take care of you. Ten minutes later, he sent me a shipping confirmation. And two days later, in the mail, he sent me what I have right here. And Colin, uh, as a way to, to show you how inspired we are, Muscular Development from Jake, well, we want you to have this gift from Jay. It is a beautiful autographed framed photo. And this is Jay at his Olympia win in 2009. And for those of you who don't know the story of Jay's Olympia win in 2009, he won in 2006 and 2007 and he lost to Dexter in 2008. Uh, he came back, and anybody who watched that show knows that Jay won in incredible fashion. And being that Colin's story was one of overcoming adversities and, and chasing after what you want, and Jay decided to send me the picture of his victory from the 2009 Olympia. It's autographed to Colin, chase the dream. Good luck, Jay Cutler. Colin, this is for you. Can we get just one, I, I want to see everybody on their feet giving Colin one more standing round of applause for an incredible young man. Thank you. We thank you for that special gift and award too. I'm sure that made Colin's night, along with everybody out in the audience being so supportive. Again, really the heart and soul of the show this year and probably for years to come. Inspiration for us all. Next, we are moving into the 